So sets are not on the SAT that much, but you will see them occasionally. You, may, you probably won't even see one on your SAT when you take it, but just in case they do, let's make sure we know what we're talking about. So a set is just a collection of things. A set is a collection of things. And these things are called either members of the set or elements. It doesn't really matter. Now, basically, these kinds of questions will either ask about the union of sets or the intersection of sets. So let's look at a quick example. Let's say set A was made up of the, the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And let's say set B was made up of the elements 8, 10, 12, 14. So the union of A and B, sometimes written like this, would just be, if you think about union, it just means bring them together. So bringing these two together, you'll get 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8 appears twice, but sometimes you'll have both 8s, sometimes you won't. In this case, we're going to keep them, no, I guess you would just, yeah, you would just have one 8. Uh, 10, 10, 12, 14. Whether these eights double and these oh, these tens double. Um, it depends on how the question is asked, but for our purposes, they're not going to double. It's just going to be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. An intersection will just be okay. What do they have in common? So in this case, what do they have in common? Well, it would just be eight and eight, ten and ten. So the intersection, which is sometimes written like this, would just be eight and ten. And that's pretty much all you need to know about sets. There's really not much they're going to ask you about on the SAT on this topic.